Item 10C, receive a report and provide direction regarding improvements for Station 52, funded by PG&E. Chief. Honorable Mayor, members of the City Council, good evening. Tonight I'm providing you with a report regarding improvements for Fire Station 52 with funds from PG&E. In October 2010, the City received a check in the amount of $15,000 from PG&E, as did many residents in the Glenview area, for the impacts caused by the September 9th incident. These funds were unsolicited and without any requirements for expenditure of the funds. At a previous council meeting, the council requested staff to provide options for the expenditures of these funds. After staff review, the report, this report outlined some options for the expenditures of these funds. There are two projects in the future, future capital improvement program that deserve consideration. One is the Fire Station 52 re-roofing re project proposed for 2011-12 with an estimated cost of $40,000. This project is, has unidentified funding at this time. In the past week, staff has received three informal quotes for the project, ranging from $18,000 to $25,000. These quotes do not include emergency uh, contingency for dry rot or structural repairs. <clears throat> The second project in the CIP is the Fire Station 52 seismic evaluation study for the station building. The CIP shows a cost, cost estimate for the project of $20,000, and this project is also unfunded. A third option would be for the use of these funds to replace equipment, such as chainsaws, hose, turnout gear, that is due for replacement. This option is estimated to cost between $10,000 and $15,000. <clears throat> Previous council discussions is such an interest in installing air conditioning at, the, at Station 52. Staff has reviewed this option and determined that two window air conditioning units should provide adequate cold air circulation with properly located units. This project is estimated at $2,000. The cost to install air conditioning throughout the station is estimated at $12,000. Should City Council recommend the window units installation, we would have approximately $13,000 to apply to one of these or the, another project. And just to remind City Council, there is not a timeline established for the expenditure of these funds. <coughs> With that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Through the Chair. Vice Mayor. Um, looking at this, uh, obviously there's not enough money to go around unless pg and is willing to <laughs> contribute more toward this great effort and. Uh, the fire station 52 but with what we have now I think it's important to to invest it back in to the facility um, the seismic I think is something we should do in capital improvements I know there's concern on roof uh, the AC is something I know I brought back at but with two thousand dollars is very modest and reasonable but I'm also looking at the equipment ie chainsaw and when you say the chainsaw you're talking about purchasing the chainsaw or are you talking about something different we can definitely replace chainsaws themselves, I think, in the long term we're looking at. Typically it costs us up to $500 to have a chainsaw serv serviced, mm -hmm. but either replacing the chain, and we have a, an opportunity to purchase our own sharpening tool device and maintenance tool that's probably cost about, I want to say $1,500. That would prevent us from we could do our own servicing, and I think it's a good long-term investment to do it that way. And how often do we have to go out to have this chainsaw the, the, sharpened for five hundred dollars? Twice a year, easily. Okay, so that's, uh, I, uh, yeah, I would say that obviously items like that. Uh, you know, I'd like to make a suggestion to the council uh, to see what everybody else thinks as far as investing some of this in the equipment. Maybe the hoses are most critical, the uh, chainsaw, because obviously I think it's an investment that will will pay for itself. I'd like to still recommend the $2,000 for the AC. Uh, the turnout, I don't know if those are critically needed at this point or if they're in reasonable condition because I think those are the most expensive within the uh, equipment items. Customer, you are correct, yeah. And, and we do have a replacement schedule, but typically we fall behind in replacing yeah. those. So items. if you feel that's the most uh, nece uh, necessity, is it within the equipment that the, the folks use? I'd agree with that if you feel the turnouts can be held off uh, for the regular budgetary item, then maybe whatever's left over between the other items you mentioned and the equipment, the AC goes to the roof. Those are just some of my thoughts. Anyone else? John? My, my comment is that what are we to know? I mean, staff, you know, you should know 
what's more, most important, what's more pressing. And I would leave it up to you. I mean, if that's what it is, is chainsaws and hoses, you know, and air conditioning. Um, I definitely wouldn't spend any money, $20,000 on a study at this point. <laughs> um, so, and you know, if the roof needs it, then that'll come, you know, in time. So, I fifteen, thirteen, fifteen thousand dollars. I think you you, know, you can put to good use. There's no yeah. question. Yeah. And I think uh, you know that option would serve us the best at this time. Good. Anyone else? I agree. Michael. Chief, Michael just a question them. about the <laughs> about the equipment. Um, we we don't um, put any funds aside for periodic replacement of this equipment. This isn't something that's budgeted for in your regular. We have replacement costs for PPE that we we put in the budget as replacement, and we have replacement for the, some some of the larger pieces of equipment, typically chainsaws and the smaller like hose nozzles, hose. We have a regular cycle set aside some money. Um, I think we're running a little bit behind on the replacement schedule also, so that would supplement this. Okay. Normally each year there are funds in the operating budget which are allocated to equipment purchases, and so what the chief is referring to is that th there would be uh, some years you have uh, every year you would have something that you're doing um, and the and as the equipment reaches its useful life uh, it would be proposed for inclusion in that line item in the budget okay. uh, on the other hand the um, anything that's facility related like the roof or <coughs> seismic improvements would generally never be included in that budget item that's something we would have to come up with uh, that goes through the CIP, correct? Through the CIP. The, the capital improvement program budget is is just a, a it's a planning and, and budgeting device. The money all unfortunately comes essentially f from the same place. There are no dedicated funds that cover the cost that are available to cover the cost of our city facility uh, repairs, renovations, improvements. So typically, those resources would need to be allocated from the general fund fund mm -hmm. balance. The two projects that the, the chief referenced are identified in the capital budget and or in the capital program and are planned for consideration to be funded in 11-12. Okay. So, so my, my thought process then is the equipment could potentially be eventually replaced, whereas these other things we would definitely have to identify funds from somewhere to, to actually address those and they would not be addressed unless we actually pull funds from somewhere from the general fund to address those other issues which makes makes one of those options to me at this point a little more attractive because those funds may never materialize or at least not for a long time so something to consider I, don't know. I agree 20,000 is a lot for a study mm -hmm. So do we need a motion on this or just direction and consensus of the council? I would think just direction and consensus. All right. It sounds like you have direction to, to get some chainsaws and hoses and turnouts and is that? Mm. AC. AC. <laughs> or, or fans, whatever. Or if you have left over roof. <laughs> so just to be clear, you're authorizing the chief to utilize the whole of the $15,000 for Equipment purchases, as he believes, is uh, would would be Most priorities needed. for the department's operations, and uh, for the installation of window unit air conditioning at Station 52. Yeah, if in fact there's enough money left over for that. Yeah. Is that is that correct? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. 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 No? okay. Got it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Chief.